Yo, yo. Hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. It's been a while. Thank you. My uh, locks, they doing pretty good. Fun. Made my life so much easier. Like, so much easier. Like, I wish I would have did this 20 years ago. Hey, Brandon. What's up? Yo, cuz. Woo! Woo! Yuck. Now, I'm going to go in the house because I just saw a frog. So, I don't got time for that. Watch you can't play with it. I'm lying. Oh, what up? Yo. Dang, I can't even be outside. It's all the frogs coming. Irking me. When you go live, you are such a blessing. Thank y'all. Hold on. I'm going to get in some light in a second. Hey, daughter. Who said hey, daughter? <laughs> Hold on. I'm going to get into some more light. I try to be outside. It's so nice out. I don't know where y'all live at, but in Florida, it's so nice outside. But I just saw a frog, so I ran in the house. Don't laugh at me. But thank you. Thanks for the compliments on the hair. It's been about, dang, I'm knocking my earring out. It's been about six months since I had them. And uh, I love them. It's so much fun. Mm, it's hot up here. I don't even want to be up here. I'm in my office now. Chilling. But, um, yo, cuzzo. Kaboo. You supposed to be celebrating. Tell my niece I said hey. Tell my little cousin I said hey. Hey, hey. Beautiful locks. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, I'm loving it. Like I said, I wish I would have been did this 20 years ago. Because my life is so easy. So much easier. Let's see if I go out here. Because it feels good out here. I don't want to be in the house. Can y'all still see me? Barely. Dang, y'all can't see me. Hey, Jocelyn. Hi. Are you on live? I'm on live. Oh, hi, guys. <laughs> That's Jay. Setting up my dinner. So what's good, y'all? It's been a while. I'm in my bathroom now where the light is. It's been a while. And I just wanted to come on here and check on y'all because a lot has been going on in the world and i just want to hear where y'all at and um yeah just check on y'all what's been going on how y'all been feeling have y'all been being bullied by the devil um how your family been treating you how you been treating yourself is what's most important. So I'm trying to find that out. Well, well, let's talk about me. I've been doing swell. The last time I was on here, I told y'all I have been dealing with a little bit of pain in my body, um, dealing with anxieties and all of that type of stuff. But they, you know, the devil had to flee because I've been resisting him. I've been resisting him. So I'm feeling the benefits of resisting the devil. Work, Tiki's. Welcome back. Good, but yes, resting now. That's good. Rest is rest is the <clears throat> rest is the highest level of warfare that exists. Like if you if you can rest in your soul, rest and not be moved or worried or 
shaken by anything, I'm telling you, you win. You win just by resting in your soul. You know what I'm saying? So rest is good. No worries, no fears, no anxieties over here. Rest, that's right. No worries, no anxieties, no fears. If if I, if I feel I'm trying to creep up, I'm I'm chopping them down like Karate Kid because I don't have time for worry, for low self-esteem, for just negativity. And I don't mean from people. I'm talking about from within. Why do you get sleepy every time you read the Bible or pray? It, it can be two things. One is bringing peace. It's bringing peace to you. But if you fall asleep during the day when you know you had, you slept all night and you still fall asleep, then that can be a spiritual thing. And so you got to pray and you got to rebuke that. And a lot of times um, it's, it's the enemy causing you to fall asleep so that you won't get that word and get that food and get that nutrients you need. You got to come against that, especially if you know you need to read that word. You got to come against that and rebuke that spirit. Um, there's a spirit called Leviathan um, that causes you to just, you ever heard that word lethargic? And it's like every time you read a word, you fall asleep. Um, no, um, the word should give us a little bit more energy. It should give us concentration. It should give us focus. It should do all of that. So pray against, pray against that, that one, when you're reading the word and don't, and try not to read the word when you know that you're going to be tired. Like, you know what I'm saying? You got to read it at times where, you know, you got a little bit of, a little bit of energy and you ain't got to read it for hours, but. 10, 15 minutes of the word, that's good. You might be, you could be reading too long. I ain't, just read it. Read it real, not real quick, but read it. Get your scripture and then get up. Don't read it while you're sitting down. Get up, walk around, read the word, rehearse it, and you should be good. I was just telling her this today. Can we lift her up in prayer? Clarissa is her name. Lord God, we pray for Clarissa. Lord God, we pray that you would touch Clarissa's mind, touch her heart, Lord God. We ask for your healing power to come to Clarissa, Lord God, because by your stripes we are healed emotionally, physically, um, and spiritually, Lord God. We pray that you come into uh, Clarissa's life and, 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 and knock on her door, Lord God. You said that you behold, you stand and you knock on the door, God. We pray that you give Clarissa power, give her strength to open the door to you, oh Lord. And, and the rest is, is going to be is going to be great, Father. So we pray in the name of Jesus for Clarissa that she will have the strength to receive you, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. But yes. Um. So. Yeah, man. I love when y'all talk back to me. So yeah, I'm just chilling. I am enjoying my freedom. I'm enjoying my peace. You know what I'm saying? I'm enjoying the benefits of actually being obedient to the word because when God tell us not to worry, not to fear, that is not a light thing that's not like oh we got an option not to fear we have an option not to worry but worry can turn into sin fear can turn into sin because we're trusting in fear and we're idolizing worry and we're idolizing fear as if it can do anything for us and so we're seeing fear and worry as a source when god is our source our creator our maker our savior he's our source so we put our trust in him jesus christ not trust in our worry because worry sometimes feel like it's protecting us. Like if I worry about this, if I'm overly concerned about this, me worrying is my protection, but it's not, it's not, it's just opening the doors to attacks from the enemy. Wait, let me read that. Oh, I'm acting so slow. Hold on. I'm trying to read these comments. I was trying to tell you seem to be feminine to me. I kind of got rough around the edge lately. Any feminine <laughs> feminine tips? 
I mean, I guess I'm feminine, but I'm from the hood as well. So, I mean, I don't know. I got to think about that question. Feminine tips. I know. There, here's a tip. There's a lady on YouTube that teach about femininity. She's a doctor. Um, she's a black doctor. And she teaches on um, etiquette for women and how to, how to be, how to carry yourself, how to um, take care of yourself, your hygiene, how you speak, um, you know, certain things like that, what to do when you're dating. And, and her name is Dr. Uh, I haven't watched her in a while. I got to let you know. Let me look her up. I'll save it. I'll save all of my lives. Let me see. Her name is... Let me go. I'm going into my subscriptions. Let me see. Her name is... Come on, come on, come on. Uh, give me a second. Uh, why well, can't find her? Nope, I can't find her. Dang it. All right, anyway, I can't find her, but I'll let I'll let you know before I close out who she is. Anyway. But yeah, so, yup, I'm gonna save it, let me see. So, um, what was I saying? Oh, let's go back to worrying and, and being fearful and being self-preserved um, and not just kind of trusting God and letting him direct your pathway. And your pathway is when you get up in the morning, your pathway is wherever you go. It's not, your pathway doesn't just mean direct your gifts. Your pathway is not my pathway, my journey through life. No, he will direct our way, like everywhere we go, like going to the grocery store, like going to work, like, and it's not just the places we go, but the way we do it. How do we talk to people? That's our way. How do we how do we treat people? How do we take care of things? You know what I'm saying? He'll direct our path and our pathway. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. When they get up in the morning and what are some important... So, when I get up in the morning... Um, and I have not always done it. I go through seasons, but for the past couple of years, um, before I get out that bed, I give glory to my creator, to my maker, to the one who knows me better than I know myself. Because it's like when I don't do that, business becomes overwhelming. I'm not as creative because I'm worried about things that I shouldn't be worried about or whatever. So I acknowledge God. And it's not, I'm not trying to be churchy, but I acknowledge God. I pray. I talk to him. I ask him to do the things that I need him to do for me that day. And not for me, but help to help me do. Um, and um, the next thing is I drink my water. It's the first thing I do is drink water. I take my vitamins or whatever I need to take for whatever I'm, well, for whatever I need it for. And then um, I have my devotion because the prayer is not enough. Then I, I go to a scripture. I read my scripture. And then whatever I need to do that day, I go for it. It's nothing really like, it's no like strategic thing that I do to become an entrepreneur, entrepreneur or to stay an entrepreneur. I just do what I know to do. And I do it. And then I just ask God to lead me. Like, what you want me to do today? Because... I'm a multi-entrepreneur. I don't have one business. I have a lot of different, a lot of different businesses. So 
it's hard for me to focus on a business. You know what I'm saying? But what I do is take care of myself first. And then my business is taken care of. When I take care of myself, I eat the right thing. I, I, I study the right thing. I do the right thing. And that helps me do whatever I need to do for that day for my businesses. My bad. My bad. So, yeah. Hey, y'all. What's up? What's up? What's up? Welcome in. I'm just on here just saying hey to y'all. Checking up on y'all. Answering a few questions. Thank you for the waves. I'm so mad I'm in my house. I wanted to be outside talking to y'all. I don't even... I ain't even hype right now because I'm in the house. And it feels so good out there. But the frogs came. As soon as I came out there, the frogs came out there. I'm like, mind your business. These frogs is... They, they too much. Hey, 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 honey. How you doing? What does contentment look like for me? Mask on first, then others. That's right. That's correct. Got to take care of yourself first. That's not selfish. I used to think it was selfish until, like you said, that airplane situation came and I got the revelation like, you know, if, if we ever need the um, the air supply that comes down, the, the crew member always tell us to put your, put put on your mask first, and then put on your um, your family member's mask or your neighbor next to you or your child's mask. Because if I'm not breathing and I'm not getting enough oxygen and I'm not getting enough out of life, how am I going to help my child? How am I going to help that person if I'm not taking care of myself first? So that's just a wisdom thing. It ain't nothing wrong with it. But wait, somebody asked me another question. Nah, I don't do the frogs. They, they irking me so bad. What does contentment look like for me? So, contentment, that's a good question. Okay, a lot of people get contentment and complacency kind of, it bleeds together for people. So, but for me, contentment is, I am emotionally stable. That's what contentment is being 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 in lack my emotions are the same if i'm lacking in the area or I, I don't have something i want my emotion is right here i'm not move, i'm not going down with the ways of life cuz life comes in waves but we can't let our emotion come in waves our emotions got to got got to kind of stay in the same vicinity because if you're going down when, when you feel like things going down and then you're going up when things you feel like things going up, that's not that's not emotionally stable. You know, the Bible says that's a double minded person. So if you can pretty much no matter what goes on in your life, if you can keep your your peace, if you can keep your joy, to me, that's contentment. Because at the end of the day, as long as I got food, I got clothes and I got a shelter. Why am I, why am I worried? Why am I hasty? Why am I, what's another word for the opposite of contentment? It is, it's a word I'm looking for. Ambition. We got to leave ambition out. Now you can have a good ambition. My ambition is to take care of myself. My ambition is to stay healthy. My ambition is to love others. My ambition is to do good things. That's different. But contentment is, you know what I'm saying? I'm straight. I'm good. I'm good with this amount of money. I'm good. If I got a lot of money, if I only got a little bit of money, I'm straight. Because basically life, I'm, I'm, better, I'm better than life. I got Christ in me. So life can do whatever it want to do. But that's not going to move me. Because Christ is my anchor. And he said, I'll never leave you nor forsake me. And he also said, I will supply all of your needs according to my riches. He has a cattle on a thousand hills. So if I don't have something or I need something, I ask and it shall be given. Or I seek and I shall find it. Or I knock and the door will be open. So when God is your supplier, everything is going to be taken care of. Even if you got to knock on somebody else's door for sugar or for bread or for whatever, he's going to supply that need. So again, I don't, my emotions don't move with my life. Now, when it does, it causes anxiety. It causes me to be sick. It causes me to hide. It causes me to do all of these things that are self-destructive. But when I'm content, it don't matter what my husband do. 
It don't matter what nobody do. I have to stay here because I, I walk by faith. We walk by faith. And the, the situation ain't going to change with me worrying. It only changed by faith. So if I go with the winds and the waves, I'm going to be stuck in discontentment. See what I'm saying? So that's how you be content. You don't let you don't let life that's going all which way. Even it's just for a season anyway. Life ain't always like that. But you don't move. You don't let your emotions move with life like that. So hopefully that was hopefully that was helpful. Trust him. Yup. When it comes to being content, trust. Trust. I said all of that, and y'all just made it plain and simple. Trust. And now. Whoo, that don't seem easy. Like it, trust God. I already do trust him. Mm, I don't know if you trust him. Cause trust is like, yo God, I don't care what happened. I know you got me. I don't have to get revenge. I don't have to do evil for evil. I don't even have to protect myself as far as Watching my back all the time and making sure ain't nobody playing me or making sure I ain't being manipulated or making sure none of that because God is going to avenge that person. Now, it doesn't mean you're not going to deal with situations, but like, hey, you know, I noticed that, you know, you've been blah, blah, blah. You can talk about it. You can t speak the truth in love. But at the end of the day, we can't make nobody do nothing. We can't change nobody. Like, you just got to be like content, like invincible. And that's how God wants us to be invincible but that comes through trust trusting your father trusting your creator trusting the one that made you not putting confidence in your own flesh because that's where you're going to start having anxiety you're going to start worrying because you're putting the confidence in your own flesh but when you put it on christ man you're going to be straight floating like hey y'all i'm good and everything ain't perfect everything ain't the way i want it but i'm straight Anything outside of me can do what it want to do, but I'm straight. And that's all that is. That's where I'm at in life. Our actions show that we don't trust and we still worry about all things that we say we trust him with. Exactly. That's 100. He said, love the Lord your God with your mind, your soul, your strength, your body. That's everything. But sometimes we only love the Lord our God with our spirit. And it's like, that's nice. But what about your body? What about your mental? What about your emotions? So your mental is your thoughts, 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 thoughts. Your emotions is your heart and how you feel. Your spirit is already saved if you say you, if, if Jesus Christ is Lord. Now your spirit is 100% perfect, but your soul and your mind is what we got to renew all the time. So trust, trust is everything. Contentment isn't the lack of chaos, but trust in the middle, trust right in the middle of it. Yup. Let me see. My motivation talk for today, much needed. Awesome. You preaching to me, love. I needed this tonight. Good, 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 good. A great way to build trust is to think about how he has come through for you in the past. He said, I am the Lord God. I change not. If I did that. I can do this. We can't put God in a box like, yeah, God only do certain things. Or I don't deserve for God to do something for me. So I, I, I ain't going to trust him in that area because I know I don't deserve it. Yo, it ain't, there is therefore no condemnation. No condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. Like, you don't, don't even worry about your sin. You get up like, okay, God, I confess my sins. I confess my faults before you. I thank you for your forgiveness. I thank you that Jesus Christ died on the cross for my sins. I don't have to stay in the pit. I'm up. And guess what, Lord? I need this and I need that and I need this and I need that because you're my father and you said you're going to supply my needs. You said this, you said that. That's how we have to talk to the Lord. We can't be worrying about, we can't worry about nothing. Y'all feel me? Big God, big faith will release heaven's floodgates. That's right. No good thing will he withhold from us. Woo! I love that. Tim Bush, okay, best. That's exactly right. 
That's exactly right. No good thing because we a lot of times we see God how we see people. Like we really think that God is like man. And he said, I'm, I'm not like man. I'm made man. How I'm going to be like, I'm the creator of man. I'm not like man. I, I love unconditionally. We love conditionally. Even at our best of, to our best ability, we love unconditionally. Because as soon as somebody do something we don't like, we like, bro, sis, like, why you like, and then we like diss him for a while. We don't talk to him or we, you know, God don't do that. He's perfect in all of his ways. So he loves us. When he say he's good, that means he's, he's good. And so sometimes we good. Sometimes we not. Sometimes we good. Sometimes we not. That's not God. That's not God. So I'm going to encourage y'all now, not even your sins can keep God goodness from you. He's not, he's not going to do that now. I'm not saying, so go out there and while I'm like, eh, eh, eh. I'm not saying that, but what I'm saying is there's no, there's therefore no condemnation. I just looked that up earlier. Like what is condemnation? And that's judgment. Look y'all see, I was already on that. I have to renew my mind on that. Sometimes I'll be forgetting God. I don't want to do to earn God's love. Sometimes I be forgetting. Oh, okay, I get what you're saying. So you be forgetting that God still loves you no matter what. This is a whole journey, period. Even in his correction, he's good. So yes, y'all, thank y'all so much for, 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 for saying that and for sharing that and, and opening it up more. Like, like, yo, we really got to really get to know God. But the only way we're going to truly, truly, truly get to know him is if we like, you know what, God, I trust you. I'm about to fall up and down. Don't, don't jump off a building. But in, in, in like, in theory, yo, I'm jumping off this building for God. You know what? All right, Lord. You know what? I'm not going to worry about nothing. I'm not going to overthink. You know what? I'm just going to just trust you because... Without faith, it's impossible to please him. He's not going to be able to do a lot for us if we don't have that faith and that trust. Faith is Christianity. So the reason why we don't get the benefits is because we're not actually doing the thing that he said that we're supposed to do to please him. So he loves us. Okay, that don't have nothing. Even without faith, without all of that, he loves us. But it's people that's... He said, if, if I make my bed in hell, I know you love me. You're going to be there. But in order for us to get the benefits of our faith, which is peace, love, joy, provision, um, everything we need, we have to learn how to totally trust him. So now we got to hear him. How do we hear him? How can we trust a God we don't know? How do you know God? Through his word. Through his word. He speaks. But he speaks through his word. Okay? So not in a churchy way, but we got to start. Okay. All right, Lord, I need to know you more. How do I know you more? Scripture's on knowing God more. If we on the phone all the time and, and we Google stuff, we got to Google scriptures. Scriptures for how do I get out of anger? Scriptures for how do I be more confident in Christ? Scriptures for how do I trust God more? Scriptures for how do I not worry? Scriptures for like... It's in there and you read it and you rehearse it. And if you got a weakness the next day, like scriptures for joy, scriptures for a better marriage, scriptures for like, yo, we got to go to the word. It ain't nothing else that's going to tell us nothing, but the word, nothing on the outside, no affirmations from Instagram, none of that. That's not going to help. This is the word of God. Now this is not the Bible, but y'all know what I'm talking about. The word, yo, the word is the only thing that can cleanse us and wash us and renew us because God is the source and he made the word. So if this is the way that he cleanse us and teach us and show us, then that's the way and we can't do it in our own way. Do you think fantasizing is a bad thing? I'm trying to stop because what if that's not what God wants for me? Kind of like visualization. What do you think? It depends. Like, I mean, if your fantasies is perverted or your fantasies come goes against the word of God, then definitely you're going to. Oh, I'm so sorry. 
then you definitely going to have to, to change those fantasies and renew your mind. And the Bible says, casting down imaginations and every high thing or high thought that exalts itself against the knowledge of God. So if your fantasizing comes against the knowledge of God, which is the word of God or the ways of God, then yes, we got to cast that down. But if your fantasy is like, man, I can see God blessing me. I can see myself just being so joyful. I can just imagine myself not worrying about nothing. I just fantasize about myself just being a better per. Like, that's good. You know what I'm saying? That's good that you can see good things. Oh, I'm just fantasizing about, you know, being an entrepreneur and um, I can see myself blessing people more and I can see myself being healthier or I can see, yeah, that's, that's good. That's good. But you, but other than those good things, you got to cast them down because those can turn into some dark demonic things. Okay. So as long as it's not perversion or anything like that, you, you on it, you got to visualize, you have to visualize, you got to see it, see it in the spirit. And, and, and then, and when you, when you, when you fantasize that spirit, that's spiritual. And so this is what I learned recently. Like, okay, we know the power and life and death lies in our tongue, right? So that means we got dark, we got full darkness in us and we got full life in us. So basically we, we can be, we can be very dark. We can speak death. We can think death. We can think perversion or we can be good and we can think good and we can do good. We all have both darkness and light in us. And so whatever we manifest the most is going to be who we are at that time. And so if you see yourself manifesting darkness all the time and anger and bitterness and unforgiveness and um, 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 evil for evil or, or all of that stuff, that's in all of us. But then you see somebody be like, oh, man, they always good. They always thinking good because they choose to. So that's why we can't take lightly good people because they're choosing good. We all have darkness in us. We all have voids in us. We all have death in us. But if we're speaking life and we're doing good things, we choosing to do that. Now we have help with the Holy Spirit, but we choosing to do good. So that's what we got to do. Whatever we speak, we, we elevate. Elevation is your best self. Yeah, but... We can't elevate without Christ. We can't, I mean, self-elevation is going to bring us back down. Like, it's times where I thought I was doing good, you know, I got it, God. I'm straight. I'm doing this. I'm doing this business. I'm, I'm doing good. I'm killing. I'm making money. I'm, I'm doing all of this. And then I end up falling right back down, boom, on my face. Now I got anxiety. Now I'm worrying. Now I'm sick. Now I'm not, ha I'm not happy. Why? Because I didn't let the Lord exalt me. So now I walk, I walk light with exalting myself and doing things in self. Because I know at the end of that, I'm going to just be right back where I started if I don't let God do it. Because I'm going to be doing it, but I ain't going to be doing it the way that he want me to. And he's, and he's a loving God and a protecting God. So he's not going to let us hurt ourselves. Even if it looks good, it's, it's, we, sometimes we can destroy ourselves doing stuff without him. Who's that question to ask yourself? Oh, that's a good question. Actually. What have I been feeding today? Yup. Yuppers. Amen. When he does it, the results are perfect. Yeah, it's giving new age. It's giving new age. I know what you're talking about. It's definitely giving new age, visualizing and manifesting and manifesting. And it's just like, I don't know. And I, I ain't, I ain't judging nobody, but like you manifesting and it's like, um, what if that's not what God want me to have? That's right. Pride, pride. You can't do nothing without them. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, so so manifesting how because if I if I do that, God says I know the thoughts and the plans I have for you. So Lord, what's your plans for me? Because I can be manifesting anything. 
I don't care if it look good. I can manifest my dream house and my dream car and I can manifest my husband and I can man but a lot of times that comes through demonic and if that comes through demonic provision. And then all it is doing is Satan is putting these things in your head that he you feel like you should have. And in some way he's kind of making that happen. And all it's gonna do is turn into crumble if it's not God. It's 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 it's, it's, it's just gonna crumble. Because it didn't come from faith. Faith is action. Faith is I'm doing this and I'm believing that God is going to do this because we want God to do it. We want, we want God to do it. So again, I know the thoughts and the plans I have for you. Plans to bring you into an expected end. If you do it and it's falling apart, nine times out of ten, you did it. So if you're going to manifest stuff and, and you ain't ask God for it, how he going to help you? Like... And, and then you know you ain't asked God for it now. The thing that you got is going crazy. You can't take care of it. You can't keep it up. And you won't pray because you know you ain't asked God for it in the first place. You don't want that. You don't want that. Trust me, you don't want that. Hey, hey. Trust me. You don't, you don't, you don't want, you don't, you, you shouldn't want nothing that you ain't have faith to get. Yup. God orders steps, but we move our feet. So I know the thoughts and the plans I have for you, plans to bring you to an expected end. The blessings of the Lord make it rich and added no sorrow to it. Now, he's not saying that you may have, you may, you're still going to need faith, but sorrow is just like, dang, everything about this thing is just sorrowful. I'm sorry I did this. I'm sorry I did that. I'm sorry I bought this house. I'm sorry I married this person. I'm sorry I joined this church. I'm sorry. Like, that's not, that's not no blessing. Sorry I'm talking hood like this. <laughs> but that's, that's not no blessing from God. He know too much. He, he's alpha and omega. So he going to set you up. Like, he not, he not, he not about to give you something. And then you struggle all the way through. It may be a season where he make your, he builds your faith and your faith got to go up. And it's like, uh, I'm comfortable here, God. But then he going he gonna, to he gonna make you come up a little bit more. And yes, that happens. But in general, you're not going to be sorry that you did something. If it comes from God. You know what I'm saying? Amen. Amen. Because I know there's a lot of people, anything you start in your own strength, you'll have to finish it. Anything you start in your own strength, you'll have to finish it in your own strength. So let God do it. I love my people. I love y'all. Because y'all not, y'all y'all got it. Y'all y'all got it. But I'm just tired of the enemy tricking people. And like the girl came up, she talked about that new age stuff. It, it sound good. That's kind of like the law of attraction. Shanika Nicole. Hey girl. How you doing? Yeah, that's kind of like the law of attraction. That's what the secular people do. If you listen to like these stars, these, um, these celebrities, um, these actresses and actors and, and, and singers and stuff, a lot of times they'll, they'll say they manifested something or they, they summoned it. The law of attraction. They did things to attract certain things. That's witchcraft. That's what that's called. That's called witch, witchcraft. I'm manifesting, working with Pastor Ty. Lifelong dream. No, let God do it. Don't you manifest it. You pray about it. And if it's in, if, if it's in the plan of God, then you, you'll work with Pastor Ty. But no man on this planet is worthy, is worth Doing something out of God's will. I don't, I don't care who he is. Pastor Ty, the president, it don't matter. It needs to be part of the plan. It needs to be part of God's plan. So we pray for it. We ask. And if that's what God wants you to have, he's going to give it to you. You ain't even got to think about it no more. Because it's going to happen if it's God. Good, good. I'm glad all is well. Miss you too. Thank you. <laughs> You know, I'll be getting in my, my talk mode and I'll be, I'll be, you know, talking a little, a little, a little urban, but yeah, y'all like, 
whatever you do, I don't care if you working hard and you making money and you doing all of this type of stuff, like that's nice. And God will give you the ability to do whatever you want to do. But if you wanted to, what, if you wanted to last and you wanted to have no sorrow and no sorrow to be added to it, then you better wait. You better, you better wait on God. Pray God's will for your life. Pray God's will for your life. The trend is back in business. I'm working on it. I'm trying to have it ready by, I was going to have it ready by this Sunday, but give me like a week or two and it's going to be up. And I'm going to let y'all know, I'm going to let y'all know um, when it's open. Trust me, y'all know I'm going to let y'all know firsthand. Hey, hey. Hey, guys. Y'all, yep, God's will, yo. God's will. Because nothing, so that's going back to contentment. When you manifesting things that ain't even God's will, that's not, that's not, it's not safe. It's not safe. So like when, when things come to me and blessings come to me, I know it's God because I ain't even trying to go for it. Uh, I'm working on it. I'm moving so slow with the online stuff because I've been so busy, but I am working on the online stuff. I got a website and the only thing on there is my books. Yup. If it's his will, then we'll add no sorrow. So, and God, he, he, he knows what we can handle. We don't, we don't know. We don't really know what we can handle. We know what we want, but we don't know what we can actually handle. I've been there and it's just like, I thought I wanted that, but Lord, that's a lot. Like I don't, mm -mm. or I start feeling overwhelmed or feeling all of this and be like, did God tell me to do that? Because why would I be feeling overwhelmed? Like, why am I feeling overwhelmed? Like, I might need to pull back, pray, talk to God, and start over. So, yeah, but that that worldly way, that new age, I'm about to manifest it. I'm scared of that. I'm scared. Yeah, so basically, like, it ain't nothing on this earth that I'm worried about or thinking about or, or really want, like, I, like God, he purified my heart so much that I don't want for nothing. And I don't mean, yeah, I got all of this money and I, I don't be thinking about, yo, I don't want for nothing. And I know that I'm about to be taken care of no matter where it comes from. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be taken care of. I'm not thinking about nothing in this world and I can enjoy it, but I'm not, no, I'm I'm straight because my soul is content and, and, and my trust is in the Lord. So now I don't have things on my mind like that. I don't, it's nothing that I want or need. I have, now I have to make myself go shopping. I got to make myself get stuff because it's like, I'm so content that I'm almost disappearing. And it's like, okay, I'm still on this earth. Let me, let me, let me live. Let me, you know. But yo, God wants you, he wants you in a certain place and he wants to supply your needs. He wants to give it to you. Yep, peace and contentment. But then, yes, but I'm prosperous. Like I have every, what I don't want for nothing, I have everything. The Bible said, the Lord is my shepherd. The Bible also, that I shall not want. That's what he's saying. If you, if you make me your shepherd, you won't be, you won't be ambitious. You want, you won't want nothing that you don't need because I don't filled your cup. I, I don't filled your heart. You know what I'm saying? Now it's not to say y'all shouldn't want nothing like, yeah, you, you want nice things and you, yeah, you, you want, it's like, all right, cool. I'm going to get it, but it ain't going to make me worry. I ain't going to be look, I ain't going to be looking for it everywhere I go. I ain't going to be, I ain't going to be stepping on toes to get it. I ain't going to be ignoring my family members to do this. I ain't going to be doing things to get what I want. It's coming. It's coming because I believe God or I asked God for it. Or I searched for it. Or it's like, I'm just encouraging y'all. If y'all trust God 
And the reason, another reason why it's so hard to trust God, because we ain't never really seen nobody do it. We ain't seen our forefathers actually trust God. We seen them work hard. We seen them go to church. We seen them praise God. We seen them do all of this. But when it, when it came down to true faith, when it came down to for us to be the person that God called us to be, when it came down to loving people unconditionally, when it came down to forgiveness in our hearts, when it came down to, you know what I'm saying? Giving it shall be given. When it come down to those type of things, we ain't seen nobody cross over to that. And we ain't seen the benefits of his promises because we still not forgiving people. And we still trying to control everything. And we still not letting sweat roll off our back. So we're not going to see those benefits. So we're going to work by the sweat of our brow because we're not, we're not using our faith. We're not forgiving. We're not loving. We're not doing those things that he called us to do. So now you are going to have to work and be ambitious and do all of that because you ain't going to do the, the spiritual things. Fruit of the spirit. Correct. Yup. Yeah, we got to do that, y'all. We Christians, we call, and not just because we Christians and he like, do, do this. God ain't telling us to, to do this just because he the boss. He not telling us to, he not telling us to be this way because I told y'all to be this way. He knows the benefits. He has laws already set up to bless us. So we wouldn't want for anything if we do it his way, if we live his way, if we love, if we are meek. If we are, 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 are forgiving, if we are all of these things, God would please, he'll overtake you in blessings. What's that to him? Walk by faith, not by sight. He knows best. He knows best. Hey, love. Hey. You done? Just saying hi. Yep. Hi. Somebody said they manifesting. Oh, you listening to me? <laughs> yeah, I turned you on. Somebody said they manifesting them working with you one day. Oh, yeah. And I told him, don't manifest it. Pray about it. Mm. Because that law of attraction is a thing. And, 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 and celebrities, they try to manifest it in their head without going to the source. Mm. And then when they get the thing that they want, it destroys them. Mm. And it's, it's purposeless. So I was like, yeah, pray about that. Ask Amen. and it shall be given. Amen. Knock and the door will be open. Amen. And if you're, ready, if you're going to work with Pastor Ty, it's going to happen in your lifetime. Amen. Trust me. Amen. Keep going. I ain't but, interrupted you. Do your thing. But yeah, um, I just came up to say what up. So true. He has. You want? You want? Um. Uh, oh no. Um. Not really. All right, I'll take one. He messed up your vibe. Say hey to my pup. Kodak. Hey Kodak. 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 Yeah. He's seventeen years. Who? <laughs> Talking about Kodak. This What's my up? new dog. What's up, everybody? Say hey. God bless y'all. Keep going, babe. I'm watching. I'm gonna keep going. Yep. Um, let's see that puppy. I just I just showed y'all. Thank you, thank you. That's my puppy. He's three months old. He's a teacup. So I don't think he's gonna get no bigger than probably like three pounds. That's my baby. That's my that's my dog. Um, his name is Kodak. Oh, these, these numbers went up when y'all saw Pastor Ty come on here. <laughs> Bae, you done? Bae! Are we in for the night or are we going somewhere? Thank you. He appreciates your fanships and your support. My numbers went up. When they saw your face on here. Oh, bro. Let's get your we... let's get your numbers up. Let's get your numbers up. Mm. What y'all want me to do? Want me to sing a song? Y'all want What's to sing up, a song. What's up, y'all? What up? How's everybody doing? God bless, baby. I didn't want to mess up your flow. You was in. I'm trying not I to mess up the in. flow. That's Let that okay. Thing go. Let that flow go. They know I got them. in the name of Jesus. I need Pastor Ty to come to the bed. This ain't about me right now, yo. That's why I'm about to uh -uh. leave. For real. Your cat, put your cash app before you up there I'm start about to leave. singing. Like... I am about to leave. I was enjoying you. And they're about to talk about me. I don't appreciate that. That's all right. It's like, the, I do. I appreciate the that's love. Okay. Thank y'all. No, for real. I'm serious. Thank y'all for the love. Thank y'all for loving on my wife and they be loving me, encouraging yo, her, yo. She the realest. That's why I married her. She my pastor, my prophet. 
my woman of God, I honor you, I love you. Yeah. And uh, I'm glad people are getting a taste of who you really is. They are, since he's right here. They, they, they are getting a taste of who I am. Yeah, man. Are uh, we answering questions? What are we doing? I'll be there. I'll be, I'll, be just be help, I'll be just helping my people. All right. All right, do your thing. She said, right. right, it's about Shantae. Yeah, gonna, uh, who said that? I could be on here if I want. <laughs> now I'm going backwards. I could, if I want to be. <laughs> nah, but today is our day. I was just on this because you was. But um, the do Austin, do Austin still want to go to the. I didn't talk to Austin yet. But our place is made, so I guess we chilling. All right, Lincoln's still at work. But, but anyway, they said we love your wife, Pastor Shante is the best. Thank y'all. Y'all know I love y'all. I was trying to be outside. I don't want to be in the house. Some oh, frog there came. Some frogs out there. Like. Irking my life, like now, I got a question. Is that is that all women that are like scared of like? Is that all women, or is that like just my wife and my kids? Cause I need to know something. Cause this is this is getting crazy. Ain't y'all scared of frogs too? Watch. Who in here like frogs? <laughs> Let's just say it like that. Y'all like frogs? <laughs> Do y'all like frogs? Ah. What up, Charity? Oh, hey, Charity. How y'all doing? How you doing? There's my people on here, man. This is so cool. Right? I guess I'll do some Somebody said, eyes. no, LOL. Said, they don't no. like frogs. <laughs> man, I am terrified. All right, all right, all right, all right. I pray all right. I could be as comfortable, comfortable as y'all seem, seem in, in marriage. A, seem in a marriage. We don't they understand do what you. frogs are. They there to do. Warts. Yeah, <laughs> no, frogs are scared. We don't understand what frogs is here to do. I don't understand that, that question. What? They okay. wish they can be this like comfortable in their marriage. In their marriage. They probably you know what I'm saying? Like some people probably still got their mask on. Oh, oh, oh. oh in their oh. marriage. So they like they're not they're not showing their spouse everything. We'll be twenty five years next month though, so this is not an overnight thing. I don't like frogs or lizards. I don't like frogs or lizards. Thank either. you, Chad. You say you look so great. Oh, thank you, love. Yeah. Thank you so much. You always look great. Come to Tulsa, Oklahoma, please. Do a marriage thing, okay? We we need to. That's a good vibe. We're going to do that. We should do that for our 25th year. Y'all know we've been married. December the 6th will be 25 years. Yep. We're going to go on so, tour all next year. A marriage tour. Our whole tour. Is everything creepy. All right. I got the answer, y'all. Y'all don't <laughs> like spy. Y'all don't. All right. Y'all can stop now. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Yo, y'all ain't got to stop. What do you think about the whole media situation kind of anyway. um well yeah so we're gonna do some marriage seminars <laughs> and we're gonna go around the world and you know one day uh, i'll talk about all that all of that but we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna do it we're gonna show y'all um i think get it's a with uh, get with pastor todd that's my dude um i want to address that so badly which one Kanye West Let's go. Jews thing. What do we think about that? Florida. Are we the real Jews? Oh, yeah, please come to the beer. So the Kanye thing, what what, what you got to say about that? I forgot. Because you know it's live and you know people going to talk about you if you say something. Yeah, I ain't going to say nothing. I'm still reading. Because they, they, okay. they screen recording right now as soon as I said I wanted to say something. Ooh. Not my people. My people love Okay, us. they cool. Okay. They, they cool. They safe. So I can't go live. We in the safety zone. Yeah. I, now, I can't. now, your people. I ain't gonna do that. You you got the masses, so it's the all masses. types of people that can hide the your thing. The mess. You got the messes. Somebody said, "Look at the puppy." Oh yeah, this is uh. Give me Kodak. Kodak. It's a teacup. I think that's big as he gonna get probably. Kodak and your machine. Somebody said, "I don't think he's crazy." I'm not gonna comment on that. I'm gonna use a little bit of wisdom. I won't say that. But you... I will soon. We're not embarrassed or ashamed, or not that we don't have a stance. Yeah. Yeah. I think he's I won't say crazy. I don't think nobody's crazy. He's like that for a reason. But I think he's I don't want to say that cuz I don't want to feel like I'm judging nobody. I just I just I'm concerned about him whenever I know he's about to do an interview. I've been concerned about him and I'm still concerned about him because I don't know what he's going to say. Um, I actually know what he's going to say. That's probably why I'm concerned. But he's just thinking about himself. That's all. He loves himself. And lo and with, the, with loving yourself, it could be a little bit dangerous. 
because you liable to say anything that make you feel good or look good or if things are not going your way. If you in somebody else's house, you got to abide by the rules of the house sometime, whether you like it or not, whether it's fair or you to not or not. Uh, you chose to walk through the doors and be part of their environment when you walk in someone else's house. Whether it's the dishes you like, the food you like, or if your treatment seems wrong or whatever, you got to abide by the rules of the house. And uh, when you feel like you're bigger than the house and you start voicing what you don't like about the house, the house can shut you down. That's a general statement, I'll say. Mm-hmm. I mean... Yeah, you know, yeah, you, you don't run. You got you you got you don't you, you don't influence. own a theater. You don't own you, the you world. Got influence, but you don't run the 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 systems that you you're partnered with. Exactly. You don't own it, so you need a little bit of wisdom. You need just a little bit of wisdom. You could be right and all that stuff, but you need a little bit of wisdom so that you can have sustainability and continue. Uh, I like the Trojan horse approach always, right? Always, you 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 come through the gates. You get through the gates with a presentation that they will accept, and then little by little, you expose what's inside of you that might be even contrary to the environment. But I don't think it's wise to go in. This is a mess. I don't. In my house, we got. It's like okay, all right. You you and mine know. <laughs> but he don't so, be in the person's house that he be talking about. No, I'm not talking about literally house. Oh. I mean like part. If you're part of Adidas. Or if you're, oh, like, okay. that's what I'm saying. It's an analogy. Oh, oh, it's a oh, metaphor. I mean, I knew that, but I was just saying he's at the interview people talking about other people. But I, now I understand yeah, what you're saying. But he, other people whose house he's in. Oh, that he worked under. Yeah. Got you. Well, they should have known who they so were. So, and I'm not saying compromise either. I'm not saying compromise to the point where it goes, you know, with every partnership, there's compromise. You give and take a little bit. But I'm not saying, you know, Anyway, we'll talk about that another time. I get it. Good question. What A else? good question. Flip the table and build your own house. Amen. Okay. Correct. Build your house. That's what I'm saying. When build we get our own house. and Kanye get his own, he worked for a lot of people. So like he's saying, you can't just be saying what you want about people that, that pay you. Like if it was my business and one of my major employees, I'm paying all of this money to go start talking about me. How long you think they're going to be working for me? When your face is on the dollar, a king, you can say whatever you want. So until that happens, use wisdom. Period. So you can be sustained. And then further, you know, the kingdom message and further what you are about. If you continue to use wisdom. Wise as serpents, harmless as doves. Very That's good. very good. Yeah, yeah, That's a yeah, nice way yeah, to say it. yeah. That's a nice way to say it. So I I don't feel sorry for anybody, but I'm like, dang, Kanye, like, dang, if you just chill a little bit, you would keep everything that you that you work for. True. I read a post that said uh, his anti-Semitism with the tributes. is uh, threatening, like they're threatening to take his kids from him. I'm like, how do mm. Anyway. They, please, Kyrie, Kanye know what he's doing. Kyrie Irving just got suspended. Uh, today, at least five games without pay for his anti-Semitic sentiment. Well, that word, post. So they're very, 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 very serious about that. I'm good. I'm good on all of them because they all know what they signed up for. And unless you are a roach that crawl from under the rock, you know what to say and not to say. At the end of the day, you are bars. Know. Bars. You know what to say and not to say at the end of the day. Period. Oh, down you know what to say and not to say. At, at the, the end, end of the day. day. Hey. You know what to say. And not, not to say at the, the end, end of the day. day. Right. Get out of here. All right. You so want me to leave now? Yeah, I'm done. Um, Nah, but I'm about to hang up. Because what will we? I, it was so good before I got here. Yo, I don't want yeah, I'm about to, to go up. in. I was walking but, so slow. So, me, so why did I say time remaining? 24 seconds remaining. Is your, is your battery dying? No, let me see. It's saying 20 something seconds. It says 17 seconds. You better say bye real quick. Oh, well, my thing is saying I, I got might come back. 13 seconds remaining. Is there any time that we sac we sacrifice what we have to Dang. free others? To free others? It depends. Yeah.